Hey everyone, welcome back. If you want a cool and different race but you aren't sure which one to use, out of Ghoul or Cyborg, then you have come to the right video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. In this video, I will be outlining all of these things right here. What the Ghoul race does, what Ghoul is good for, the Ghoul pros and cons, what Cyborg Race does, what Cyborg is good for, the Cyborg pros and cons, which V1 is better, which V2 is better, which V3 is better, which V4 is better, and my overall pick. These are the timestamps for each of the parts. So if you don't know how to get the Ghoul Race, in the top right hand corner of the screen will be a link to a video where you can get the Ghoul Race and explain how exactly to do it. So, what the Ghoul Race does. The V1 slightly increases your health regeneration and gives you an extra 30% run speed during nighttime. So right now it is nighttime, so I'd be able to run 30% faster. But during the day, those two buffs would go away. V2, your fighting style attacks have life leech on them. Fighting styles are the melees, like for example, God Human, or Combat, or Dark Step, or Sharkman Karate. If you use them on another player, it will heal you 25% of the damage you have done. But if you use it on an NPC, it will only heal you 5% of the damage you do to them. V3. The V3 ability is called Heightened Senses. When you activate it, for 8 seconds, you get an extra 5% damage, 10% speed, 15% defense, as well as the ability to use your moves when they still have 40% of their cooldown remaining. And that includes your M1s or click abilities like this. So this is as fast as I can do it, but if you have the heightened senses activated, you'd be able to do it much faster. V4. When transformed, all of your attacks get life leech ability, not just your fighting style, which is the same as the one from Ghoul V2. If upgraded, it increases the healing you get. You also get something called a Domain Expansion, where you get your night passives during the day, get to use your abilities with a reduced cooldown of around 37.5%, and a dark area around you, a roughly this big right here. Now this dark area makes any enemies in it go almost blind and have really slow health regen. When upgraded, Crows will attack any enemies inside the dark area when you dash. What ghoul is good for? I think the ghoul race is good for farming until you get V4, where it then becomes decently good for PvP. The V3 is also really handy for the PvP, but it makes it so much better when you have the V4 as well. Buddha users love to use ghoul race with max stats in their fighting style to get lots of health regen while fighting anyone or killing NPCs with their fighting style. Ghoul pros and cons. For the pros, it has faster speed and regeneration at night, which can help you 50% of the time. You can change back to Ghoul Race at any time for free. Life Leech works really well with Buddha, especially when used with the Ghoul Mask. Ghoul is like a little mix of all races combined. And the V3 and V4 are amazing for PvP. Now the cons. Faster speed and regeneration can only be used at night time, so fighting during the day isn't really advised. The life leech is only given on your fighting styles, aside, when, aside from when you're transformed into the V4. It can be more difficult to get than most other races, and being a mix of all the races means that it isn't the best at any one thing. So that is it for Ghoul. Now if you don't know how to get Cyborg, there will be a link to a video in the top right hand corner of the screen that will teach you how to get Cyborg. If you don't know how to get Cyborg, go watch that. Now what the Cyborg race does. For V1, the V1 actually doesn't give any buffs at all, which is quite strange, considering the only other V1 that does that is human. V2. You gain 10% defense against melee, sword, and gun attacks, as well as automatically turning 15% of the damage that you receive into energy for yourself. V3. The V3 ability is called Energy Core, 
when you activate it for six and a half seconds you have an extra 30 percent defense as well as an aoe lightning effect around you the aoe lightning effect around you is roughly this big the lightning effect damages any enemies inside it and also breaks their observation so they cannot dodge any of your abilities v4 when transformed Damaging something also damages other enemies and NPCs around it, as well as being able to do a super jump with observation enabled. Now when upgraded, the damage increases, the super jump does some damage to enemies around you, and it doesn't even need instinct to be able to be used. The other ability disables your opponent's observation for a little while after you hit them, while doing a little extra damage. When upgraded, it does more damage and also lasts longer. What Cyborg is good for? I think Cyborg Race is good for PvP mainly, but also quite good for farming if you do not have Buddha. This is because the V3 ability damages all enemies around you, and the V4 also chains the damage to other enemies around you that are close together. This can be really handy while farming, considering there are usually a lot of enemies in close proximity to each other, like these two guys right here. The Cyborg Pros and Cons For the pros, it's got good defense in general, and even more while using the V3 ability. Very good against teamers because of the damage chaining from the V4 and the ability to get rid of the opponent's observation using both the V3 and V4. Almost never run out of energy because the damage you receive turns into some energy. And the V3 and V4 are great for both PvP and farming. For the cons, you get no movement buffs at all, aside from the super jump when transformed into V4. You get no extra defense against blocks through attacks. It may be the hardest race to obtain currently in the game. The extra energy from the V2 passive isn't really needed as you will almost never run out of energy regularly and you also need to be quite close to enemies to damage them and get rid of their observation with V3 ability. On top of that, the V4 needs a solid surface to use super jump, so the air will not be your best friend, especially while fighting someone else. Which V1 is better? Now I think easily the Ghoul V1 is better, even though it gives you no buffs during the day and only speed and health regen during the night, it is way better than Cyborg V1 as Cyborg doesn't even give anything for its V1. Now which V2 is better? I believe that Cyborg's 10% defense buffs are usually better than the life leash off of enemies, especially since it is only on attacks from your fighting style and it is only 5% health back from NPCs, such as bosses. This makes me believe that the Cyborg V2 is better than the Ghoul V2. Now which V3 is better? The V3 abilities are both very powerful, but are good for different purposes. Ghoul's V3 is mainly great for PvP, while being alright for farming. Whereas Cyborg's V3 is decently good for both PvP and farming. So it really depends on what you are going to do mainly in the game, either for PvP or farming, but I believe Cyborg has a slight edge over Ghoul in the V3 category. Now, which V4 is better? Again, the V4 abilities are both very powerful. Both V4s require you to be close to the enemy in order to get the best use out of them. But Cyborg V4 is better as it also provides a mobility option, allowing you to jump really high or really far in order to catch up to someone in the air or to dodge an attack from your opponent on the ground. Now, my overall pick. Both of the races are very good in their own ways, with some pros overlapping. I think that the best of the two for you really depends on what you want to do more in this game. Don't get me wrong, they are both quite good for PvP and farming, but I reckon Ghoul is slightly more orientated towards PvP with all of its cooldown reductions and life leech, whereas Cyborg is slightly more orientated towards farming with all of its AoE abilities. My pick for the best race would have to be Cyborg, 
because of its overall versatility for both PvP and farming. The super jump and all the ways to disable the opponent's observation are really quite useful for me, as well as all the abilities which damage groups of enemies, helping with farming as well as pesky teamers. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you like Ghoul better or do you like Cyborg better? If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you all next time.